Hi. In this slide, uh, I'm just going to give you sort of a, an annotated uh, overview of the, the the main subtopics of the e-video clips. In the first session, we're going to talk about you know, getting paid for service value because that's sort of the central question or title of my uh, University of Industrial Distribution presentation. Uh, but service value isn't valued unless it somehow will lower supply chain costs that the customer can understand and believe. Um, and so we have to get very, if we're going to get last look and a little bit more, we have to be able to say, here's how I as a sales representative or my service uh, elements and why they're so consistently good actually lower specific hidden costs that you didn't know you had, but I'm going to try to teach you that you do have them, and improve the productivity of your, your people, uptime economics, and because of that, the third chronological thing in supply chain is to is to improve next step value chain satisfaction retention. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do that first. The uh, Then what will happen is uh, I'm going to go into uh, really our beliefs as to how they r relate to the life cycle of our industry and the life cycle realities of the stage we're currently in. Um, you know, when we start talking about new things out of the box, people say, well, it's out of the box. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And so we have to uh, get in touch with our unspoken historical beliefs, realize perhaps that to some degree they are dated and need to be updated or overhauled or, or tuned. And one of the key takeaways is it's now time for us to go out and teach our customers how to buy better because we actually have the solution for how they can do that if we have uh, service excellence. Now to, to zero in on customer niches, define what service value is for that niche, start to measure it, identify winning and losing customers and transform losing customers into winning customers. All these things, we need a new set of tools. We need to have line item profit analytics, or I call it LIPA, L-I-P-A. Um, so that we can uh, zero in on lots of very high leverage uh, opportunities. Uh, so that'll come, but that's really kind of an overview. Uh, then I'll next get into uh, the whole idea of customer nicheonomics. We take customer profitability ranking reports. We start at the top and we look at each customer and say, well, who are they? What kind of creature are they? And we start to put them in different piles. And we realize, gee, we have three, four, five, six very profitable customers in one pile. That's a niche. Who else would be in that niche? What are their common uh, buying patterns to sort of beef up fill rates for that particular niche? Let's go out and figure out the rest of the service value equation for that niche, et cetera. So that's all in customer nicheonomics. Then we'll go more deeply into two things, actually. Uh, line item profit analytics and how you might use them in very a lot of specific case study situations, and then smart pricing. Um, it turns out that that uh, our pricing uh, doesn't really have a lot of correlation with size of customer, size of order, uh, or the the velocity of the item. Yeah, there's there's general guidelines so that we do, but because it's also general and there's so much discretion uh, as far as how prices are quoted over the years, there's there's enormous amount of efficiency improvement that can be done there. And then we'll get into some sections, and I, I'll, I'll add these over time to based on interest and demand, but you know, a lot of the stuff is makes sense, and then people say, yeah, but specifically, what do I do first, second, third, fourth? People want a cookbook how-to recipe for doing things they haven't ever done before. So how do we engage all the employees? What kind of change management tools do we have? And specifically, when we come up with all these service metrics we have to achieve with consistent excellence, how do you make that happen? So those will be the last part. That's, that's the second overview slide. Thank you.